Okay, you guys, so I'm gonna give you some money for the bus. You need to get a transfer, okay? BART has been celebrating its 40th anniversary by giving free tickets to 40,000 students, teachers, and chaperones for educational field trips. The program has been a huge success. The free tickets were all grabbed within months, and the program is now wrapping up its reservations. There's a couple of logistics. We're going to go take the bus across the street to 12th Street BART. We're going to take the Fremont train out to Hayward, and then we'll get on another bus, so make sure you get a transfer. These seniors from Bay Hill High in Oakland are barting to a college tour with the free tickets. Bay Hill High School is a school for students with learning differences. Our class size is 10 to 12 students, and all of our teachers, including this one walking by, are special ed teachers. And we really work on a transition program, and that's what's going out today as part of our kids getting ready to launch off into the world, into college. The donation from BART and its sponsors, Titan Outdoor, Bombardier Transportation, and Dryer's Ice Cream, have been beneficial to the school. Incredibly beneficial. I don't know that we could have afforded it had we not been able to access this money. Rebecca Field is their college advisor. We've been to Holy Names University, we've been to St. Mary's, and we've been to the College of Alameda, which is a community college. We've, we've taken BART or bus everywhere. We, I don't know if we're going to make our train because the bus was late. Trips like this for Field may be a little bittersweet. It's always difficult when the seniors leave. I mean, you get kind of attached to what they're doing and their families, and then they go off. How's your writing coming? Oh, uh, it's going good. But it's also, I mean, it's just the natural course of things. I like it. I like that part about it, too. And seeing them go and how excited they are about what's going to come next. Life school teacher and transition coordinator Vanessa Brown says Bay Hill students already depend on BART. How many of you guys commute on BART? I, I used to every day. I do when I'm trying to get home from um, when I'm trying to get home from cross country. I go to Walnut Creek every day. You go to Walnut Creek every day? I live in San Jose and I used to drive to Fremont BART and then I would take Fremont BART all the way to here, then take the bus to school and then do it all the way back. How are you, Phoebe? Good. How was the SAT for you? 17-year-old Lowell Roth of Walnut Creek is already accepted at Cal State East Bay and is hoping to also be accepted at St. Mary's. He wants to be a corporate accountant. He may one day be counting beans on BART on the way to work. I BART right now pretty much everywhere. Uh, normally I'd actually get off at this stop right here to go to work. Um, I work down the street over here at a construction company um, and I BART every single day. I get up at about 4.30, get to BART, have to walk from my house and get to BART about 6 and get, hop on the first train and come all the way out here and leave at about 7. 17-year-old Phoebe Moser is a singer and a pianist. She's mapping out her college career like it was a BART transit map. Yeah, I'm a singer, yeah. I really want, I'm really interested in the performing arts department. She's impressed that Cal State East Bay has 70 pianos in its performing arts department, but she's thinking she might end up in Tucson. Maybe here or the University of Arizona. BART has carried 2.7 billion passengers since it opened 40 years ago, but it can't help Moser in Tucson. The BART Anniversary Free Field Trip Tickets program is over, but school groups can still get discount tickets. You can find the information at BART.gov. Mark Jones, BART TV.